What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Wolf Den. This is Saturday Showdowns episode two and today we're listening to All The Things She Said by Tattoo and then the cover by Poppy. They told me do it like Kate does, gotta get them hyped up. Welcome back. Before we jump in, I just wanna say thanks for all the requests that people have uh, been putting cover requests for Saturday Showdown. There's some really interesting ones. I'm definitely excited to jump into those. Um, all the things she said uh, came out when I was about 10 years old. I remember being very catchy. I'm sure it was very annoying for my family, me singing it all the time. And um, so what we're gonna do, listen to the tattoo version first, remind myself um, what it sounds like, then listen to the poppy version and see how it's different, what kind of fresh take she's bringing to it. I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be some madness in that one. And um, yeah, let's just jump in now. Uh, reactions all the way through, verdict, and then the second one. I'll also put a timestamp to the poppy version if you just want to jump uh, through the video to get to that part as well. I can definitely see why this would be a good fit for Poppy to cover because of the high pitched vocals. It kind of does sound a bit like her anyway. Um, I forgot how electronic it was. That kind of the music at that time was crazy. It's got that like um, weird synthy electronic background. It's like a mix of like house and and stuff coming through. It's quite it's quite funky. A bit like it's not quite techno because it's not as fast, but it has those elements for sure. And this was the this was kind of creeping into all sorts of music like Limp Bizkit and those kind of guys later. Linkin Park or actually Linkin Park at this at this phase as well were definitely doing similar sort of things. So. Um, I just, it's well nostalgic for me right now. This is the bit that I'm expecting will be popified when it comes to the next one. Popified, not popified. So it's gonna. This is where this is where she's got the most sort of you know um, free license to to go crazy with that. Maybe some heavy guitars and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't want to speculate too much, but like that's what I think is gonna be on on the next one. I like it. I love how overt it was with everything, even the video, like, it's so obvious what they're talking about. There's no, it's not like a hidden message where you're like, oh, I think this song's about that. It's like, they're telling you what it's about. You know exactly that this is about someone feeling shame because they're in a same sex relationship. And then in the video, they just went balls to the wall and just was like, look, this is exactly it. Um, I really, really enjoy this. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love that big drum in the background there. it makes it so funky it's, it's so good this song is actually great I don't know how Poppy's gonna top this it's gonna have to really reinvent it to make it anywhere near because it is so fun Great song, great song, it's so fun, I love it. Iconic video for sure. I think if you asked anyone what the video for this was, they'd be able to tell you. Um, it's really good, it's really catchy, it's gonna be in my head forever, it's gonna be so, I really, really like it. Uh, I'm gonna actually just jump straight back into Poppy uh, immediately because um, I kind of said what I had to say about that one, I love it, it sounds good. There's not really much I can say in terms of like, it's very of its time, it's very 2000s in terms of music, but it sounds great now as, as it ever did, so yeah, it's cool. Let's just jump straight into Poppy and see. I really hope she reinvents it. I really hope she brings something new on it. I can definitely see why it's a fit for her in terms of the vocal stylings and all those kind of things. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm assuming because it just came out, uh, she hasn't been able to film a proper video because of the, the COVID situation. So, uh, but anyway, uh, that's not important. It's the music that we're listening to. Okay, so immediately it's heavier. It's got a lot more um, in the background. So it's definitely already more poppy style. Uh, and again, the vocals, it sounds pretty much the exact same, to be honest with you. Similar, but it's also quite different in that it's replaced some of that electronic sound, but it still sounds quite the same. So that, there's nothing really different there. I did expect maybe something quite different. Her vocals, I, I knew it was gonna sound fa fairly similar in terms of the vocals and that, but there was no real major restructuring of the song in terms of the music there. Uh, there wasn't as electronic, but I mean, yeah. The, the chorus, it sounds good. She's put a lot more uh, sort of um, guitars and stuff behind that, and that's, that sounds nice. Maybe a little bit more bass, maybe a little bit louder would be cool, but uh, I like it so far. I don't know if I love it as much as Tattoo, but she's got two and a half minutes to bring me around to make sure that I feel this one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've lost my thing. I'm going to have to pause that and put that back up one sec. Magic. <laughs> um, right, let's move across. Uh, I'm going to jump back a few bits because I knew it was going to jump in then. I got me popping. It made my bloody poster fall off the wall. It was that good. Um, I like that. Yeah, I, immediately that bit is way more... Uh, heavy sounds like real real nice sounds real good in the headset as well i can't tell if she said all the things you said or all the things she said it's not as it's not as defined in this one it feels like i know it's called all the things she said but it sounds like she said all the things you said um it's a, it's a, a silly point but uh, yeah i'd okay let's play this out and then i'll give a, a verdict on this okay so right off the bat uh i think it's a good cover by poppy for sure it's not as different or as reinvented as I really hoped it would be from her. I really thought she would bring her own style to it and make it really stand out. Um, I liked, I liked the way she sang it. I did like that there was there were elements that were slightly different. I liked the the extra use of, of the heavier guitars and stuff like that, especially in the more instrumental bit. I liked the way she took away the um, so much of the electronic stuff, which made it less. Uh, feel like it's a 2000 song and did make it more contemporary um, however I, the, the thing that struggles for this is that obviously Tattoo there's two of them and the two voices work really really well on the one track to have just one singer on it it doesn't work so well I think it's a good cover it doesn't reinvent it enough for me so I have to say I've got to stick with the original there I prefer Tattoo over this one um, yeah, I think it's a good cover. I would I would not listen to it. Um, and I think it will be something that I probably do revisit from Poppy in terms of like when I'm listening to her. I don't think it's something that I'm like, oh no, that's terrible. But I just I just feel a little bit disappointed that she didn't really change much. Um, but on the whole, decent. Yeah, fine. 
yeah, I just don't love it as much as I love the original. And I think quite often you'll get that with covers. I think there's a lot of the time where, unless it's like really, really different or it really changes what the song um, sounds like or means or those kind of things, like you're, people are always going to remember the originals. Um, but what I love about the originals is that electronic key type sound that like very much it places it. I know when I listen to that, that's like 2002, 2003 music. Uh, it, it brought back so many funny memories for me and, and so much like, yeah, I just, I thought it was really, really great. So Tattoo wins this Saturday. They show down poppy close but no cigar on this one um but yeah please do keep putting other cool covers down there especially covers that you guys think are better than the original songs because i really want to keep checking them out i've got a list of five or six to get through but you know this series is going to go on every saturday so yeah please do keep filling it up let me know what you think about this did i get it right did i get it wrong apologies for the falling banner but you know i don't want to go back and re-record anything i want this to be my honest first reaction so there's always going to be little hiccups. Um, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And until the next video, guys, peace.